In this video, we will be creating our first query application using BAS Business Application Studio, which is a new tool provided by SAP, and uh, the web ID E is got uh, deprecated. So SAP is suggesting to use Business Application Studio going forward for development of any query applications. For this, we will be using the same CDS view which we have created in our previous videos for metadata extension demo. As a prerequisite for following this video, you will need to have an account on B BTP and uh, you should have a business application studio service activated. You also need to create a development space in BTP so that you can use the business application studio. For connecting to backend system, you can use either ES5, which is SAP Gateway Demo System, or you can also have installed your SAP system on local machine. For all of these prerequisite, I have a separate videos available. I will provide, provide a link in the description for your reference. So let's start building our first Fiori application in Business Application Studio. So for that, we will create a MTA project which is multi-target application project and for that we need to go to view and click on the command and here find theory open and cloud foundry application router generator okay Theory open Cloud Foundry application router generator. Click on that and it will create a MTA project for you. What MTA project is? It's a multi target application project that is configured basically to use the managed application router. Okay, so why this MTA is needed is basically it would help us to deploy our application to either BTP or on the Cloud Foundry environment. The app manage router which we are using here, it's a SAP suggested best practice to run any application on the cloud or on the Cloud Foundry. It also helps you to configure your application onto Fiori Launchpad. Okay. Once you run this, it will create a template project, an MTA project, and then we will create our uh, Fiori application using the templates. So let's create our first project here. So very first thing is application router project path. And then you need to provide an MTA ID, which is nothing but you can provide anything like uh, flight demo MTA. Then MTA description, it can be blank. You need to select here managed app router. This managed app router will, as I said, will help you to deploy the application on the cloud foundry so select on manage app router and click on finish now what it is generating what it's doing is it is generating an mta project as soon as you see this message your file have been generated it means the mta project is ready to open the project you need to go to open workspace and uh, select your MTA project which we have created flight demo MTA select and click on open 
it will open your workspace and your project will be displayed here okay so this is the main file which gets generated when you create an MTA project this file will help you to deploy the application onto the Cloud Foundry or BTP so this was the first step which we have completed now the second step is we will bundle our Fury application project inside this MTA project okay so for that we will create a new project by clicking on start from template so here you will get multiple templates to create your application adoption project fury application multi-target application so we will be focusing on the fury application click on the tile and click on start button now it will start asking you certain information what kind of project you want where you want to get data from and all those things we still need a fury element project and there is a sap ui5 freestyle as well which will create you a blank application and uh, you can add or you can customize your application so for this demo we will be adding a fury element project here and then these are all the available type so we will select the list report object page click on next now the system is asking what is your data source from where your data will be coming so we there are different you can directly use the url as well for, from any old data service like es5 if you have one uh, we will be connecting to our local in locally installed ABAP system. So I will click on this connect to a system. And then uh, these are the two systems which I configured in uh, BTP environment. How to configure these things. I already have a separate videos on that. And you can go through it. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. So I have two systems here, ES5 and NLP, which is a locally installed SAP system. So I will choose this NLP. And uh, now what it is doing is behind the scene through the cloud connector, which we have installed on our local machine. Using the cloud connector, it is trying to connect to my backend system. Okay, And once it is connected, it will show you all of the services which we have created in our local system so this is what the service which we created in one of our video for metadata extension we will be using the same service i will select this and click on next now here we have multiple entities in that service so all of the entities which are available will be displayed here. We will be selecting this MDE as flights entity and click on next. Now it is creating a Fury application or a Fury module basically. So here we will be providing a name. So flight Fury app demo and demo and uh, flight demo on code in names application namespace you can provide anything and let's give com dot and in means description theory application for light details okay so our project path is still it is showing flight demo mta which we have created first so what it will do 
it will create this module it will not create a standalone project but it will create a module which will be included in our MTA project okay so now add a deployment configuration to MTA project we will say yes because in the future videos we will be deploying the same application onto the cloud foundry now add an Fiori launchpad configuration say no we will not be doing this for now and configure advanced option say no click on next okay so now it is asking me where you want to deploy your application why it is asking because we have created an MTA project and in the previous step we have selected the deployment option so there are multiple options available cloud foundry and ABAP system for now we will be deploying our application on the cloud foundry now what destination you want to use so when you deploy any application on a cloud foundry it should be able to connect to your backend system and this is what it is asking us so we have used our service from NLP system so we will be selecting this option here and click on finish so now you will be seeing a message here installing dependencies so it is generating our project installing the dependency and once it is done there will be a message displayed over here so if you see in the tree structure you will see a new module has been added inside our MTA application okay so now our application project has been generated and uh, this is what the module which has generated and you will see not everything but most of the things are same like we have in our web ID generated project so all of these things are same but outside of this thing it has created so many different files why it is generating because there is a difference in the architecture when you create a project in web ID e and business application studio business application studio uses node.js for uh, everything so you will see all the node modules have already been installed here now yeah that's it now we need to just run this application so how to run this application is you need to go to this option a play button run configuration click on this and you will see multiple options here you probably can delete these two we do not want this because we already have our backend system connected so click on this green run button here and uh, as soon as you see this orange color it means your application is started so see our application is now started and uh, click on go button yeah see we got all of our data from our backend system in our one of the last video we also have created an f4 help here so click on this so f4 help is also available to us coming from our cds view click on ok click on go filter is also working now if you want to directly filter out from here it is suggestion box is also available select click on go so this is how we create the application in business application studio that's all in this video thanks for watching if you like the content please subscribe leave comments if you have one or if you want to share anything, suggest anything, comments are welcome. Thank you.